Well, hello and welcome to another episode of the Web Monkey. And today, I am going to teach you how to do something pretty cool. I am going to show you how you can create your own custom sidebar and display its contents in any area on your WordPress website. Now, let's take a quick overview of what I've got over here. I am on my UEFA Blogger website. It's just a dummy website for testing purposes. And I've got lots of fake content, but if you'd like to read the content, you can go ahead and do so. Uh, let's jump down to the back end where we have the appearance themes. And you can see I'm using a theme called UEFA Blogger. It's actually a child theme of the 2012 WordPress theme. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to sidebars, the number of sidebars we have is dictated primarily by the kind of theme that we're using. Some themes will have 16 sidebars or 10 sidebars. Some might have only one. And in the case of the 2012 theme, if I jump down to the widgets area, you can see we only have three sidebars. We have the main sidebar, we have the first front page widget area, and then the second front page widget area. So the sidebar here will output information towards the right of your page. And then the remaining two sidebars will display information beneath the main content area of your front page only. None of the sidebars will display information in the header section of the website, which is where I would like to display some information. I want to display some widgets just beneath the logo, the UFL blogger logo. So in order to do this, I will have to create my own custom sidebar and then tell WordPress to display its contents just beneath the logo. So what I'm going to do is to drag my notepad plus plus text editor over here. And if you would like a tutorial on how you can use notepad to make changes to edit your WordPress files, check the, the description box below. I'll have a link to my tutorial over there. You can check it out. But I've already gained FTP access to my child themes directory, UFO Blogger. So I'm going to open it up and it will open up the functions.php file as well. Now what I'm going to do is to jump down to the parent theme 2012. And I am going to open up the functions.php file as well. And what I'm looking for in this file is the section where the three sidebars we have were created. And I'm going to keep looking, I'm going to keep scrolling down and down here where we have the function and then we have the words register sidebar. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Take a look at this. We have what the name, the main sidebar. We have name down here again, the first front page widget area and then second front page widget area. So you can tell that this is where these three amigos, these three sidebars down here, appearance uh, widgets. This is where these three sidebars were created. So in order to create my own custom sidebar, what I'm going to do is very quietly and silently, I am going to grab this block of code, starting from the word register down to where we have the semicolon. I am going to copy this very quietly. Let me close this up. And now in the functions.php file of my child theme, I am going to dump that code in there, bam. And let me just use the tab to align it properly. Now down here, this is the code that basically WordPress uses to create new sidebars. So what I'm gonna do is to change the name and the ID because these are very, very important parameters. So let me change the name here to header sidebar. And then the ID, let me change that as well to header. You typically want there to be some sort of resemblance between the name and the ID just for, I don't know, just, just to make it look good. <laughs> so for the description, I'm going to remove that. We don't need any description or you can leave it there. It's up to you. All right. So let me just save this up right now. Save. Let's jump back down here to the back end. Let's refresh the page. And check that out. We've got the header sidebar now being created as easy as that. And you thought creating sidebars in WordPress was rocket science. <laughs> so what I'm going to do right now is I am going to grab a text widget. I'll drop it in there and title. I'm going to say, Hey, 
and uh, let me just say this is my header sidebar. Let's save this. Let's take a look at the website right now, but we still don't see the contents been displayed. And that's because even though we've created the sidebar, we haven't told WordPress where to display the contents of the sidebar. Because I want to display the contents just beneath the logo, I would have to make changes to the header.php template file. Template files dictate how or where information is displayed on your WordPress website, and the template file that controls the header section is the header.php file. So, in my parent themes folder, I am going to open up the header.php file. I am going to copy everything over here, copy, let's close this, and then I am going to create the exact same file in my child themes folder, create a new file, and here I'm going to say header.php, php, all right, let's open that up, header.php, and then I am going to dump everything in here. So now I have a header.php in my child themes folder and my parent themes folder. The way WordPress works is this. If you have the exact same template file in both your parent themes folder and your child themes folder, it is the template file in your child themes folder that WordPress would use. Okay, so this is the header.php in my child themes folder. What I'm going to do is to look for the area in here that outputs the logo. So we have UFO Blogger, we have the site title and the site description. So down here, and this is where if you have any experience working with HTML or PHP, this would be very, very useful. If you don't and you're a complete newbie, I would recommend that you make a backup of your header.php file before you begin uh, making changes. So down here where we have the age group, age group, I can see we have site title, we have site description. And down here we have site navigation. So I know that if I add some stuff in between these two blocks of code, the information should show between the site description and then the main navigation area. So what I'm going to do is right down here, I am going to open up a PHP block of code, PHP, and then I'm going to use the function dynamic underscore sidebar in brackets and then in quotes I am going to add the ID of the sidebar we created which is header a semicolon and then close the PHP code so this function dynamic sidebar is used by WordPress to display the contents of a sidebar whose ID you specify in the brackets and in quotes so I'm going to save this now let's take a look. My heart is racing and check that out. Hey, this is my header sidebar. So now we have told WordPress to always display the information, the contents of the header sidebar just underneath where we have the logo. Just to prove to you that this is actually real. Let's go back. Let's come back down to our widgets again. Let's grab another widget. Let's go with the archives. Let's dump that down here. Ah, this place a drop down. Let's save this. Let's go back. And boom, check that out. We now have the archives, which had been displayed in our header section. So with some of CSS skills, I can easily transfer this area down here to the right, make it look all nice and neat. But this is how to create a custom sidebar in your WordPress website and then how to display its contents. So if you were looking to display the information instead in your footer area, you would typically uh, use the footer.php template file instead of the header.php and so on and so forth. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you feel like, hey, this is really cool, I do have a course that teaches you how to make changes to your WordPress uh, theme. It's called the Complete WordPress Development and Customization Course. It's typically for $99, but I will have it on sale for you for just $29. So if you're interested, you can take a look at the course. I will have a link with the coupon code in the description box below. You can check it out. It's a very, very awesome course with nearly 150 different lectures designed specifically to show you 
how you can customize WordPress to your own desires. So that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please click on the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching the video and of course I will see you next time. Ciao.